knew nothing of Pine Gap. You can't Google it. A lot of people I know have heard little snippets about it or think it's something about UFOs. But yeah, no one really knows much about it. Walking into the operations floor with the computers and the lights, it's cold in here. And apparently on the real operations floor, it is cold because they have to keep all the electronics cool. You just you come on and you jump right into character. You didn't leave the floor very often, just so your eyes adjust and you really feel closed in. Thanks, Denver. Thanks, Denver. Yasmina Delich is a communications intelligence officer. She is strong, independent. Adam, can I be straight with you? Sure. My work just has this rule that if we start seeing someone like more than just casually, they have to go through this. And she has difficulty maintaining relationships because of her work. Is he always this grumpy? Gus? Yeah. Uh, not usually. Not much about you online either. Ooh. <laughs> what do you want in us? You two seem to be getting along reasonably well lately. Sure. We're friends. Well, staying friends might suit all of us. But we also trust that you will be loyal because that is the secrecy act that you have signed with us. And for me, that's at the crux of it, right? It's always people, it's always human relationships, and we're all just trying to keep it together and be happy. Something you should know. Pine Gap, this series, it's about lies, it's about secrecy, it's about falling in love, it's about being betrayed. I hope the audience feel the claustrophobia of being a spy and being isolated in a place like Alice Springs, and you feel like, man, this is intense. How do they deal with this? They look good. Thank you, so do you. I hope watching Pine Gap that many people will be able to relate to it, not just the political aspect, but I hope that they'll be able to relate to the people. At the end of the day, it's human beings who are just trying to protect their family and their loved ones.